for a full list of prefabs, check the description. But for now, let me show you what these things do. If you want to make the cannibals do some crazy things, try this in the middle of their camp. Different cannibals interact in different ways. And this is probably the best one I saw. It's so wild. Now the log sled might be the most broken thing in this game. When its collision interacts with other game objects, funny things seem to happen. Mix this with the crazy collision of the radios, we get a really cool effect which I can't really even explain. I can only show you. Whenever a sled touches a radio, it seems like the radio physics go flying in the air. For science purposes, I went ahead and spawned about 900 of these things just to see what would happen if I ran across a whole bunch at once. Results were really good, and it was like watching popcorn pop in a kettle. Go radio, go! Did you know if you're holding a log sled when a tree falls down, you actually take some damage? I couldn't believe it when I saw this happen. I wasn't even near that tree. And it didn't even collect the logs. To better test this out, I went ahead and spawned me in 20 log sleds. And tried to spawn in 20 trees. That crunch is unbearable, but surely we gotta fill at least one of these sleds, right? But for science, let's go ahead and increase these numbers. Oh, my ears. I'm still not convinced, so it's time to spawn the sound of Satan himself. Look out, Kelvin. There's nowhere to run now. This lag so bad I had to speed it up by 300%, which actually didn't look too bad, but I cringed at the sound. It looks like we filled our sleds. We'll get Calvin to pick up the rest. Since we're on the topic of glitchy game objects, have you tried the new snow cart? If you even think about touching a sled and a snow cart together, it's like watching two magnets separate. And unlike the golf cart, it seems to mess with the driving controls of the snow cart as well. In just a few bumps, I was able to drive on the underside of the map, as if things were in some kind of upside down bizarro world. When I finally made it back topside, I no longer had control of driving this thing. And with the addition of the snow plow, any small bump you seem to hit like a rock or a pebble or even a flower would just make you fly up in the air. It's so out of control, so untested. And Calvin didn't even want anything to do with it. I mean, just look what happens when I get out of it. It starts to take off and drive on the top side all by itself. I'm really glad they put the time into the snow cart. It's not like we had other things to choose from when designing a vehicle. At least we have Old Faithful. Always there when you need something to count on. Now these next commands work great in multiplayer. And I'm just going to run through and give you their names even though they don't match up with the colors of the cases. So we're going to start off with Weapon Case Black. Next we have Weapon Case Blue, which is actually green. Then we have Weapon Case Orange. And we have Weapon Case Green, which is actually red. We've got Suitcase A and Suitcase B. Don't forget the wooden crates. 
storage crate A and storage crate B. Now one thing I've noticed about spawning too many of these in one spot is that when the collision touches, some of them start to merge together. And it doesn't take too long before the collision starts freaking out and items start popping out from the cases from all angles. Just be careful, you don't want to get a concussion from a plastic lid. If you sit here long enough, some of the cases start to merge together. And all you can really do is just sit back and watch the mayhem start to unfold. Now if you are looking for some entertainment, pull out your favorite explosive and just hit this thing in the center of its pile. Things start flying all over the place. And you'll be amazed as new life is running wild in the forest. Look at him go. It's almost like watching a transformer that can't transform. <laughs> what in the world? Now while this prefab's not really an NPC, it sure is treated like one. They take damage. They have physics applied. And for some reason, I think they're actually stronger than babies. In some cases, they held up really well against grenades. And in most cases, they took more shots than a mutant baby can actually handle. Which is really weird for a frog. However, they don't like fire. Aside from this command, if you wanted to spawn dead frogs, there is the command add prefab dead frogs as well. But where's the fun in that? Something I thought that was really weird was that they have four different pool toys that you can use. And while there's not much to the commands, if you wanted to host the most baddest pool party ever, do this. Don't forget your radio. One good sign that a party was crazy is when you have to clean up the mess afterwards and everybody's just passed out. Now this was a pretty cool command to see for somebody who's actually played with Unity and tried to learn how to develop some games. But the test heights here seem to be an interesting model of just cubes and rectangles and shapes that they put together. I guess the test the heights. Sadly, I couldn't get anything like logs or anything to interact with it. And actually got stuck in the floor when I tried to build on top of it. Oh well. Moving on. If you like cooking and you can never find those mushrooms you need, check this command out. Mario would be so happy. Not too much to this one, but these next two commands might work well with that. You can use this command to spawn in some dead animals. And actually work like they're supposed to, you can get fresh meat from them. You can even do this with the rabbits. But you gotta make sure that whatever you do, you beat the hawks, because you know the hawks love taking your meat from those rabbits. Now this command would have been good at that party earlier on, but I found it to be probably one of the most useless out of the bunch. Don't know what that glitch was. We're trying to jump in these things, I didn't get much out of them. I did, however, get a lot out of this next command, and this was pretty cool. Using this command here, I'm able to create a huge chunk of mineable solar fight. Not only is it mineable, 
But look how awesome it looks. Since I spawned so many in one spot, it kind of got a little bit laggy. But if you keep your numbers reasonable, you shouldn't have an issue with that. We got Solophyte Nuggets for days. Now this next one I thought would be kind of cool, especially if you wanted to spruce up your house with a little bit of armor. If you're familiar with this thing, you actually find this in one of the spaceships later on in the game. And this one here interacts in the same way. You can pluck off the armor and the skeleton will just crumble in its place. This would probably be useful if you're trying to tell jokes and you just needed a quick laugh. Don't worry if you're nervous, just picture everybody naked. Until they crumble. Next we have a pretty useless one here, and this is probably from the end game. But it's the final backpack, the one we've all seen from the trailer. Except, we can't interact with it in any way. It doesn't even move or anything, it just sits there. Now this next one, I really suggest you use it in moderation. Anything over 5 and you're pushing it. Even with having a high-end PC, it seemed to crash anytime I used about 7 or more. After spawning a series of these over and over again and blowing up the cannibals that kept coming back to this camp, it really started to put a strain on the skybox for some reason. And over time I just started having flickering clouds, so be warned. So the last thing I want to do is end this on a high note. Something that was really cool that I like to see. And sail off into the sun. Using this command right here you can actually spawn some turtle eggs. And they'll instantly hatch into baby turtles. And they'll try and find their way to the nearest water source. They will actually swim off into the ocean. But they'll only do it after so long. And then they just vanish. But it was a nice cool sight to see. And it was great to wave off my babies. Into the sunset. Again, if you need them, commands are in the description. Like, subscribe, membership, whatever. Later.